So anyway, so we have some German lessons. Like I said, guys, it's just gonna be a little bit of a fun thing, you know? It's like, in, in thir 30 minutes. 30 minutes, half an hour. Thank you, thank you. So we're just gonna do some... I, honestly, it's just gonna be a little bit of fun. Like, let's be honest, right? I, I have a few things in here. Um, and then at the very end, you can just ask me any questions you have when it comes to German. That We're gonna talk about that arch at the end of this you have the time to ask any type of questions. So, first of all, right? Some greetings. Some normal greetings. This is the first part you have to start, right? So, the English hello in German is hello. It's almost the same thing, right? So, it, honestly, sometimes they are so close together that you can't even, like... That, that's not even, like, a difference, right? It's like, hello, hello. It's almost the same, really. Then you have hey, and that in German is hey. Very interesting indeed. So what you can just say is, hey, and everyone will immediately understand you. Like, no one's gonna, like, not understand us. You can also say, hi, like, H-I, that also works. Um, you can, and then when you say, good day, right, it's guten Tag. Now, to be honest, I personally think that in English, uh, good day is not, it's like a little bit more formal than guten Tag. So this is like something you actually say normally, like, uh, you know, I would say it's fair enough, right? I wouldn't probably say guten tag to my uh, to my um, friends or something like. Um, but guten tag is something that you definitely can say. Good morning, that's something everyone says, right? Guten morgen. That's you say this in the morning, and that's just like a normal thing to say in the morning uh, to anyone, basically that you meet in the morning. And then good evening uh, is guten abend. Yeah, it's pretty much like a thing that you would say um, as well. Guten Abend, Kaum. It's not, it's not evening yet. When I visited Germany, we actually said Guten Tag and Guten Morgen <laughs> to my girlfriend at, the, uh, at, at times. Yeah. Tell someone you love them. No. Guten Abend. What comes before evening? Guten Tag. So it's like Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Guten, guten Abend. It's fair. Actually, yeah. But also shout it in German for life is, is scary. No, 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 no. Did you pronounce it? We say guten Mittag. Oh, guten guten Mittag. Um, yeah, that that is something that you could say. That is good. Could but about nah, I don't know. Guten Mittag is I don't think so. You would say um, you would say Mahlzeit. That's what you would say, which actually means like to eat something or like, it, it's like a meal. It it's ma means meal, but yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, well, maybe, maybe, but you wouldn't say good guten Mittag. Like, it's not, it's not really a thing that we would say. I don't think so. It, it is very similar. Anyway, so that's like, you know, some of the general greetings. And then if you want to go into a little bit further, right, you can ask, like, how are you? Right? You can say, wie geht's dir? Wie geht's ihnen? So this is a very important thing as well. We have a honorific in German. <clears throat> okay? So, regardless of who I'm talking to, I say, you. Right? If I talk to Luke, I say, how are you doing? I can't do that in German. Because if I talk to Luke, I would probably do the non-honorific thing. I would say, wie geht es dir? But if I were to talk to my boss, for example, or like a person I don't know, I would actually want to use the honorific, which is, wie geht es ihnen? Right? So you want to use this. So we have du, as in you, and then we also have sie, which is the honorific term. It's very interesting in uh, in German. So that's a, that's a thing uh, that... Um, uh, that's gonna be very interesting. So that's a um, so the Z and the do. It's a it's a thing that you have to keep in mind, and uh, it's very interesting. Uh, for for how are you, for example, and then you know vask it up. You know how's it going is obviously also something you wouldn't say to someone like that's honorific or something like that. You know. And we have also Grüß Gott, right? <laughs> this one is a thing you basically only say in Bavaria. You don't say this outside of Bavaria, but, you know, so there's also local uh, differences, right? I never knew that. I only knew Vigitsdia, who were my teachers. Yeah, so um, usually also, like, uh, teachers in school, you also, like, like honorifically speak to them. Now, the honors, honor, <laughs> honorific system inside of German 
definitely is not as crazy as in some other languages, right? Uh, I know that, I think, uh, if I recall correctly, like, Chinese has some crazy honorifics that are, like, way more complicated. Um, I think uh, Korean also. So there's, like, way more honorifics there. Um, we really only have casual and, you know, a little bit of a honorific or people you don't know. You would We would call it Zitzen. So you Zitzen. Um, we got Patheus. Thank you for the follow as well. Also, great name. I love that. It flows off the tongue perfectly. I, I really like that name. Um, do you pronounce the W as V? Uh, which one? This one. V geht es dir. Yes, this is how I would pronounce it. V geht es dir. So this is a V. This is a V. We can also go through the entire alphabet. Um, I, I'm gonna... So how about we do the alphabet in German? A, B, C, D, E, F, G... H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. That is the German alphabet. That is how I would pronounce the things. What you have probably realized is that uh, this letter right here, right, which in uh, English is called E, is actually um, pronounced E, in German. And this letter right here, which is pronounced I in English, is actually pronounced E in German. That is exactly right. That's just one of those things that is very hard to sort of realize. We also have some interesting letters that are uh, called umlauts that are E, Ö, Ü, N, the sharp, the sharp S. Honestly, I don't think they're any th anywhere in the alphabet. They're sort of just like tacked onto the end. In my mind, at least. I don't think that they're, like, inside of the internet. Uh, in the internet. In the alphabet. But anyway. We don't want to lose ourselves in the weeds. Let's think about something that you say when you actually get the fuck away from someone. Saying goodbye. Also, we got Astro Anki. Hello there. Hello there. So, when you say goodbye, you can say goodbye. For example, tschüss. Right? That would be something, right? So, tschüss. Uh, that's something to say. You can say see you, which would be auf Wiedersehen. Now, Auf Wiedersehen is also very formal. Like, this would be something that you would say, you know, that's like, that's that's pretty formal. But, tschüss, you can say, you can say, Auf Wiedersehen. You can say, haust rein. <laughs> oh, this is like kind of funny. Just started watching tutorials and I found a stream. Hey, let's go. That's amazing. 12-hour stream over here. Pretty cool. We're just doing some stuff. Bis bald also works. Yeah, bis später. That works, right? Bis morgen. So this is like, until someday, or, you know, see you tomorrow, bis morgen, that would work. And what I find very interesting, I actually haven't added this, but it's something that I find very interesting. In English, you can say tomorrow, right? But for the day after that, you have to say, day after tomorrow. Can you tell me why there is not a word for that day? Because it makes no sense to me. Can we, can we say that? Like, why is there no word for that? Also, we have yesterday, but then the day before that, we have to say the day before yesterday. What a crazy thing is that? The day before yesterday? <sighs> Me, oh, man. Right? That makes no sense. But we have tomorrow, and then the day after tomorrow is... So, morgen is tomorrow, and then übermorgen, which would be the day after, right? So, that it's, it's literally one-to-one -one translation just in one word. Übermorgen is then the day after tomorrow. And then the same with yesterday. Yesterday is gestern in German. And then the day before yesterday is vorgestern. So, vorgestern. Before yesterday. I, it's great. It's actually great. So, I don't understand why that is not a thing in... So, you have overmorrow in English, but I don't think that that's anyone says that. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. And then we got articles. This is a thing that everyone goes absolutely crazy. And yes... I have modeled this day, uh, this this slide, after a slide that might have come to me uh, from <laughs> Platinum's G17, okay? So, what we have is this, right? First of all, I need to get, like, or correctly in frame. This is perfect. So, we have der, die, und das, okay? So, what happens here is that every noun can be ordered into one of these three different cases. Der is masculine, die is feminine, and das is neutral or neuter. 
It can also be called makes me so angry. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, that I that I stole this or that I that the the fact of it itself. Neuter. Yes. It, it it could it would be called neuter or neutral. Like that's the thing. Anyway, so I've tried to take stuff uh, from from the same thing. So for example, we have the bus, which would be der Bus. We have the tram or the streetcar, which would be die Straßenbahn. And then we also have the car, which would be das Auto. You can see that even though they're like pretty much similar things, there is no pattern to them whatsoever. And that's the issue that uh, Platinum has run into. There is no pattern to this. Also, we got Astro Monkey. Thank you for the follow as well. So there's nothing here, right? We got the computer, which is der Computer. We got the PlayStation, which is the PlayStation. And we got the radio, which is das Radio. Also, no, nothing. German makes my brain hurt. It makes sense, yeah. Inside of the house, right, we have uh, the floor, which is der Boden. We got the wall, which is die Wand. And we got the roof, which is das Dach. I don't know why this is the case. Um, I can just tell you that I just know what the different things are, right? There's the entrance, der Eingang. Die, uh, the door, die Tür. The window, das Fenster. And what's interesting is that if I were to take a ger an English word and put it into German, personally, I would say die door. I would never say das door or der door. I don't know if it's because um, the translation uses the uh, die article or why that is the case, but it's very strange. So I can I can I can put English words into these buckets as well, and I don't know why that is the case. I don't know why that's the case. It's very interesting to me. And of course, the last one here, we have got der Arzt, which is the male or neutral doctor, as in uh, it can describe a male doctor or uh, a doctor of any gender, basically. We also got the Ärztin, which is a female doctor. And then we also got uh, the hospital, which is das Krankenhaus. Please repeat after me. Das Krankenhaus. Ich werde dich zum Krankenhaus schicken. That means I'm going to send you to the hospital. <laughs> The sick house. Yes, one to one translation would be Kranken, uh, yeah, Krankenwagen is exactly that's the that's the um yeah. <laughs> Monkas. Monka is what is bitch in German? Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. I like that it has a lot a lot of similarities between German and Norwegian, but the spelling are different. Yeah, exactly. That's true. I mean, you know, when you got a, you know, German, Germanic languages is just very interesting anyway. I'm not going to do swear words because I think that it's not a appropriate thing to do. Uh, I don't know what bitch is, to be honest. I only know things that are a little bit harder, harsher than bitch, so I don't know. And now we get to the absolute fun part, which is my favorite part at all. And that is going to be the following. Fun German sayings. Okay, hope you have, hold on to your hats and your pants because it's going to get freaking wild over here. We have German sayings, and that is, Das ist mir Wurst. The direct translation means, this is sausage to me. The meaning me is, I don't care about this. Now, to be honest, when you think about this, the fact that this means I don't care about this is pretty crazy because we love our Wurst over here in German. Germany, right? That's crazy. That's kind of weird. It's kind of weird to me, but that's what it is. Das ist mir Wurst. This is sausage to me, meaning I don't care about this. The next one. Ich werde die Daumen drücken. This one to me is absolutely fascinating, okay? Th because this is a cultural difference that I found find fascinating, okay? What it says is, I will press my thumbs for you. Now you would say, that makes no sense at all. It's, it's our version of fingers crossed. Think about that. Say yes, hello there, hello there. Think about this, right? So we say, ich werde die Daumen drücken, and then we do this, right? This is like the, the way to do it. Daumen drücken. Oh, Daumen gedrückt. Good luck. You know, that's what I do. And in, in English, you would say, oh, fingers crossed. You know, you can, you can do it. And we do Daumen drücken. I find this fascinating because there is sort of a cultural difference there, you know? Where, where you have this, uh, where you not only have the saying, you also have a you know, like an actual, like, motor, motorized, like, thing you do with your hands that corresponds to it. 
That I find really interesting. Well, that's pretty cool. I never knew that. Yeah, this is like a thing. I, what I find so interesting is that this opens up so many possibilities for me to see there has to be other uh, things like that in other languages, right? Like this this can't just be like a fluke of German and English. Um, I find this interesting. It's, it's the same way where, you know, this is like, this can be like really bad sign in England, right? But it's actually not that bad of a sign anywhere else. So I find this absolutely fascinating. And yeah, so Daumen gedrückt or Ich werde die Daumen drücken. That one's interesting to me. Ich glaube, ich spinne. I think I spider. This is the absolute exact translation over here. I think I spider. It just means I think I'm going crazy, right? But, so it's, it would be like, I don't know, you're looking for your car keys and it's like, Ich glaube, ich spinne. Wo sind die Schlüssel? Das gibt's doch gar nicht. Das kann doch nicht sein. Wo sind meine Schlüssel wieder? Weiß ich nicht. Mann, ich glaube, ich spinne. Nice, have a nice holiday, Theus. Have a nice holiday. So that's kind of funny. And then we have, Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof. I understand only train station. Yeah, that just simply means I don't understand anything. Um, It would probably be said in something like, I don't know, like when when you, when when I tell someone about what I do for a living and then they're like, Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof. Ich weiß, hab keine Ahnung, was du mir da gerade erzählt hast. Was? Was machst du? Minecraft? Habe ich noch nie gehört. Was ist das für ein Spiel? Und was machst du dann? Was bringst du dem bei? Die bezahlen Geld dafür? Was? Leute im Internet sind komisch. I know, but it is what it is. Maybe you don't speak English very well. And then you can say the next word, right? The next word is das Gelbe vom Ei. Means the yellow from the egg, right? And what that means is that something is really, uh, something is really good. Um, actually, it's, it, it, that doesn't mean that at all. It actually means the opposite. Well, I, no, no, no. If I say das Gelbe vom Ei, that actually is um, really good. But then you say it's not the yellow from the egg that you usually say. It sounds like Japanese. Oh, Watashi wa Niko des. Deutsch ni sundeimas. Nihongo ga dekimasen. Ego da ego ga dekimas. Um, Deutsch go dekimas. Deutsch go gage dekimas. Um, sumimasen. Um, okay. No, it's great. Thank you. Oh my god, Joe knows Japanese. <laughs> Listen, there's all sorts of things. There's all sorts of things. Arigato gozaimasu. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, the yellow from the egg is also very interesting. And then when you say you can't uh, speak English very well, then what you say is, you say, uh, my English is not the yellow from the egg. So if you ever hear that, just know that is of someone who can speak German. And then you just say to them, Ah, ich glaub, ich spinne. Ich verstehe nur Bahnhof. Das ist mir völlig Wurst. Aber ich werde dir die Daumen drücken. <laughs> Alright. If you ever have to go outside of the house, and it is raining, right? And a lot of people are like, Oh, it's raining. Let's not go outside. It's like, come on. What, what are you? Wir sind ja nicht aus Zucker. We're not made of sugar. We can go out through the rain, right? So this is the thing. Maybe you forgot your umbrella and it's raining, pouring buckets outside and you're like, Wir sind ja nicht aus Zucker. Yeah. Hearing you speak in Japanese was very surreal. Is it? <laughs> is it? Oh, that's not right. Yeah. I mean, it, it can be. It can be. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's just like the, the idea here. Uh, if you basically go outside um, and it, it's raining, you can just say, hey, uh, nein, es regnet heute nicht Platinum. Platinum. Sounds like Zucker from... Mm. Yeah, it, it, uh, it's Zucker. Zucker. That's how you pronounce it. Interesting. Yeah, we're not made of sugar. And then lastly, right, and this is like a thing. Uh, it's very interesting. It's um, th This, I think, reveals a little bit of how the German thought sort of happens, right? Um, and the thing is this, right? So you can say, so jung kommen wir nicht mehr zusammen. And it's very interesting because it's actually like sort of a solemn thing to say. We'll never see us as young as we are now. Wow. Right? What a, what a thing to say. Right? Like, what a, what a turn of phrase. But it basically, it has a positive spin on it. It's like, hey, seize the day. Enjoy the moment. Be present. You never you never heard this one. So, komm, so jung kommen wir nicht mehr zusammen. It, it might be a regional thing. I'm not, I'm not sure. I know this. I know this one. It's usually said, you know, when there's a birthday and then, and then like maybe before you have a drink, right? It's like, ah, so young, come anywhere zusammen, hey, post. And then you get a shot. Habe ich auch noch nie gehört. Interesting. 
Interesting. I I definitely know this. Like, that's really interesting. Anything will make less sense if it's invented by a large number of uh, people across a long time. Fair, fair, fair. Holiday is going well so far. That is always great to hear. But it's really cool. Like, so this is um, this one. I I really like this, right? Because it's like it it definitely reveals a little bit about the German like mind. Right? It's like, so jung kommen nicht mehr zusammen. It's like really negative, but then, no, it's actually spinned into something positive. I really like this. So yeah, th those were some, like, fun German sayings. There's all sorts of other ones. Das passt ja auf keine Kuhhaut. Uh, ich glaub, die Schweine pfeifen. Um, ah ja, da gibt's noch ganz viele andere. So there's, like, tons more. But yeah, this is, like, very fun. Well, <laughs> Schweine. <laughs> Uh, wins among us in like four hours face in four hours <laughs> Oh, this is great. This is amazing. I love this so much Yeah What does starnen burden harden bart mean? I don't know. I have no idea what that means <sighs> I have no idea Kaum ist bekannt wie ein bunter Hund I fell asleep at the beginning No, <laughs> never know <laughs> Kaum, what is the feature? Um of German that you wish English had? That's a very good question. Let me think about this. Was du heute kannst besorgen, das verschiebe nicht auf morgen. True. Also, we got new. Thank you for the follow as well. Thank you, thank you. I actually don't know. I'm unsure about any feature that uh, German has that English could use. Um, what does this mean? Kraftfahrzeugshaftpflichtversicherung. Uh, it is insurance for your car. Are you impressed that I can just read that? Kraftfahrzeugshaftpflichtversicherung. Did they don't? Why is it so long? Um, so in German, let's actually switch to this, right? So we can have this. Um, oh, we need doch in English. You are absolutely right. Um, any German question will be answered. So basically, you know, if you have any questions that are for, you know, any anything to do with German language, you can go ahead and we can do that in the last like five minutes here. So, um... Uh, why is it so long? I can tell you, Seagull Boy. So what we have is, in German, I can take... I can take any noun. And I can just hang them together. That's how this works. So if we, for example, have this, right? If we have... I, well, let's just go here. Those, those are all nouns. In theory, what I can do is... I can say... Um, in, I mean, in theory, I could just say... Fensterdach. That works. So I can say window roof as one word, Fensterdach. Now, that's actually the wrong way around. You actually would say Dachfenster. So what you say is Dachfenster. And then that is the window inside of the roof. And then we also have the, exactly, Autoradio in one word would be the radio in the car. And even Krankenhaus is actually also two words. Because Haus is the house, and Kranken is basically like ill or, or sick. So this is the sick house. Krankenhaus, Dachfenster. Just like uh, Haru said, yes, you can actually put all of those together. And that's why you have um, better than a million pointless words. Yeah, but that's why you can just put... Yeah, you can put hyphens in there in English sometimes, but in German, you just put them together. And for whatever reason, and I don't know why... It makes sense. It doesn't make sense. And I don't know why. It's very strange. But yeah, it works. Um, what do we have? Say some German swear words. Olivia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start. Let's start. So the first one that everyone has to know is Scheiße. That's the one that that's shit. Scheiße. That's basically when you say, you know, something happens and you're like, ah, oh, Scheiße. Mann. Or when, you're, when your football team lost, ah, oh, Scheiße. That's pretty good. <laughs> so stupid. How do you spell that? Uh, no, you don't, don't spell that like that. No. That's how you spell it, exactly. Um, what else do we have? Okay, uh, fuck you, right? Also, a very important one that you, everyone knows, needs to know that. Ah, oh, fick dich. Fick dich. <laughs> Honestly, it's. <laughs> my neighbors are gonna be like, what the fuck is going on there? Oh, man. That sounds dumb. Fick dich. Okay, what else do we have? Please give us spelling. Uh, the, the the other people are gonna do that. Someone's gonna probably do that. Kaiser, big day. What else do we have? 
can't type the, the can't type this until unless you have that on the keyboard. Exactly, exactly. Uh, what else? What, what was there? <laughs> um, uh, it's actually the German word. Yeah, that is exactly right. Uh, what else do we have? Um, Minecraft. Um, what does Dummkopf mean? It means like stupid head. Dummkopf. I would not classify this as a like as a swear word. It's just like a. It's like when you say poopy head. That's what I would sort of equivalize to that. It's not that crazy. A fool. It is a fool. That is true. It do be a fool though. It do be a fool. It's kind of funny. That poopy head is the best swear word. Agreed. <laughs> the Englander. Excuse me? That means someone from England. Are you poopy head? No, I'm not poopy head. Let's play some Minenhandwerk. Oh, jeez. Don't don't translate Minecraft into English one uh, into German one on one. That is terrible, man. That's moo. That is terrible. I can't do that. I can't deal with that. I actually can't deal with that. Okay, let's see. Can you translate a bunch of medic lines from TF2? I could. How do you toast? Like as in when you um when you drink something, you would say Prost. Handwerk. Yes, it's things you do with your hands. Let's see. Nice. Okay, <clears throat> let's take a look at this. Eins, zwei, drei. Uh, one, two, three. Water bloodbath. Um, that's all. Oh, uh, can you feel the Schadenfreude? Yeah, that's a German word. Danke, Kamerad. Thanks, comrade. Absolutely. Look at this. Long laugh Schadenfreude. Okay. Schweidehunds. I love how I love how they do this. Th th this is how you know that no German was was ever uh, in there in this. It's not Dummkopfs. You can't just put an S on on a word in German and have it then be plural. That's not how it works. It would be Dummköpfe. That's how you would do this. And also it would be Schweinehunde and not Schweinehunds. That's why it doesn't work. Uh, Asso. Arschloch means asso. Raus, raus, out, out, exactly. Um, I pro you know, this is like one of those things that I probably would advise, you know, the Germans not to say. You know, I just, I'm just have like a feeling. I just have a feeling. That probably is not a thing you should say. Uh, see, I'm just saying, you know, this just like, you know. I, it's, I, I mean, just this word is not illegal. But if you put another word on, like, after it, then it becomes illegal. Yes. Dummkopfs. Also not correct. Dummköpfe, once again. The gameplay takes in the 60s. So? That was already that, that was already a thing there back there? I think it's I think the this word has been like um I mean not like, but you know. Did the Fräuleins have their Mittelschwerts? What the fuck? What the fuck? Actually insane. Who the fuck says shit like that? What the actual? <laughs> Holy moly. Oh my god. All right, man. That's crazy. What license do I need to choose for my mod? I mean, you could do anything, but... Uh, MIT. I, I, perf I personally like MIT, usually. But, you know. Your drink. What do you mean, your drink? I have to drink? Oh, oh that's crazy. Auf Wiedersehen. See? Weinerhunds. Once again. It's not right. 